Hi guys, Adam here for pixelatedphotographer.com. I uh, wanted to do a quick video on geotagging your photos. We know that if you take a photo with your iPhone or something like that, GPS is built into your iPhone so the coordinates get embedded into the photo. It's kind of a handy little thing to have. But with a DSLR, it's a little bit harder unless you have some really expensive accessories. Um, it, it's not automatically done. Um, I came across a few uh, blog posts and some videos that kind of showed how you can do this using uh, an app on your phone and the new map module here in Lightroom 4. So I thought I'd try it out tonight. I've never actually done this. So uh, me and the boy went out, walked around the neighborhood, took a bunch of pictures. I wanted to get a good sampling from different locations. So I kind of forced myself to take pictures. So here's one of a, of a squirrel in the street. That's not all that exciting. Here's a bird flying in the air. Here's a turtle in the pond, but you get the idea. Um, basically, the app that I have is called Geotag Photos Pro, and I saw several of them in the app store, so I'm, I'm sure you can find uh, any of them that would do this, as well as Android or Windows uh, 7, um, Windows mobile phones, things like that that have this. But basically what it does is it creates a GPS track log uh, of your your path that you walked, and you can export that in using um, the time stamp on the GPS track log and the time stamp uh, placed on your photos in your camera it matches them up and gets uh, assigns the GPS coordinates to it so it's kinda neat thought I'd try it out so we'll see what uh, happens here I've already imported all my photos edited them um, sorted through them and that we're just gonna go right to the map module here um, I'm gonna click right down here and go to load track log and this is the file that I uh, downloaded from the website that the app uh, I have it exported to there and then I could go download it. I'm going to click open and there it is. It just imported my track log and sure enough that is exactly where we walked. Um, there's a few little deviations here, uh, some bumps <laughs> out and about. We were obviously we stayed out right on this road and then walked around the park here. But for the most part, it's pretty close, and there's a lot of options in the app for you to kind of tweak um, to make it more accurate, to make it update more often. Of course, all of them things are going to affect your battery life. But anyway, here's the track log. Now the trick is we've got to get our pictures on there. So here's the pictures. I'm going to go ahead and shift select so I have them all selected. And again, click that same icon there. And there's an option here for auto tag 25 selected photos, which are my, my pictures right there. If I click on that boom it just loaded them all up in there and there's little uh, tags if I click on them it shows you the GPS position for the various ones that I uh, that I took there's a little lizard here's one of a duck sign and a flower these were actually within I would say 20 feet of each other this sign and that uh, flower so it is pretty accurate um, that one of the boy and the guy the uh, lawn guy taking care of the lawn that was exactly where I took it so seem to work just fine um, I know there's some options in here you can turn it off if you're worried about privacy and stuff there's some new options in the export that would remove this GPS data um, there's also some options to auto fill this information over here as far as your city state um, things like that you can go in and turn that on it'll actually connect to the internet and based on the GPS location download some of the more useful uh, real world world <laughs> real world names of uh, things instead of you know West 34 16 whatever it might be it'll actually say you were in Houston Texas things like that so anyway looked like it worked pretty good uh, I'm pretty happy with the results I think it'll be more useful you know maybe if I went on a trip um, say on the uh, long trip and I really wanted to nail down the locations of the photos I took it would be nice uh, the only trick though is you do have to remember to start the app um, so I actually have to go in turn the app on tell it to start tracking if you left it tracking all the time it would probably kill your battery pretty quick um, the other thing is the time uh, has to be match up exactly uh, obviously if the, if the time was off then your GPS coordinates wouldn't match up with the track here so you wouldn't get the um, get the correct positioning but the app actually reminded me to double check the time make sure they were the same um, and I also noticed in here if you did say you were in a different time zone you can come back and uh, adjust the time zone offset so if I was in say Europe for a week vacation I could come back home and adjust that so a lot of cool little features just geotagged uh, my photos pretty easy to do app only cost me three bucks versus uh, I believe Canon's add-on uh, GPS thing is somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 so I'm happy good stuff
We'll see you later.